Excuse me, Ms. Johnson, can I ask you a question about the homework? Of course. What do you need help with? I'm not sure how to solve the last problem in the math assignment. Could you explain it to me? Sure. For the last problem, you need to use the formula for the area of a triangle. Do you remember the formula? Yes, it's base times height divided by 2, right? Exactly. Now, plug in the values given in the problem, and you'll find the answer. Got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any more questions. Hey, Sarah. Have you started working on our group presentation yet? Hi, John. Yes, I've started researching our topic. I found some great articles online. What about you? I've been thinking about how we can organize our presentation. I think we should start with an introduction, then each of us can cover different subtopics. That sounds good. How about I cover the first two points, and you take care of the last two? Perfect. I'll also make the slides. Should we meet tomorrow after school to go over everything? Yes, that works for me. Let's meet in the library at 3 p.m. Great. See you tomorrow. See you. Good morning, Mr. Lee. I'm here to discuss my course selection for next semester. Good morning. Sure, let's go over your options. Do you have any specific subjects in mind? I'm interested in taking more science classes, but I'm not sure which ones would be best for me. Since you've done well in biology, you might consider taking Chemistry 101. It's a great follow-up to what you've already learned. That sounds interesting. What about elective courses? If you want to explore something different, how about art history or creative writing? Both are popular choices and can give you a break from the science-heavy courses. Creative writing sounds fun. I think I'll go with Chemistry 101 and Creative Writing. Excellent choices! I'll help you get those added to your schedule. Thank you so much for your help. Anytime. Let me know if you need anything else. 